Now, our perception is also biased by our own goals and our own plans. I had mentioned that throughout the semester, I'm going to talk to you about something that's called goal-directed behavior and goal-directed design. Now, what is goal-directed behavior? Well, we tend to behave in a manner that is very goal-directed. Right? We tend to focus on our goals and ignore everything else. When you're trying to do something, that's what you tend to focus on. Now, as adults, we tend to be a little bit more focused. Right? We're a little bit better, better at it than, say, kids. Kids tend to be a little bit more stimulus-driven. So in this case, you would say they're a little harder to, uh, to trick in some cases. But even children tend to be very goal-directed. Now, I'm going to have, have you do a quick exercise. Hopefully the timing on this one did not uh, die as it was uploaded to Moodle. I want you to look for the scissors. Are you ready? Who saw the scissors? Who found the scissors? Okay, everyone found the scissors. Where were the scissors in the picture? They're kind of in the center. Who saw the screwdriver? Oh, about half of the class saw the screwdriver. What about the tape dispenser? Okay, maybe not quite a quarter of you saw the tape dispenser. There's a screwdriver, there's a tape dispenser. Why do you think that most of us, during that time period, did not see the screwdriver or the tape dispenser? Right, because we're focused on our goal. You're like, I'm supposed to find those scissors, I'm going to find those scissors. I notice we're really good at it. But we ignore everything else. In fact, one time I asked people, who saw the vice grip? No one saw that one. Half the class didn't know what it was, actually. <laughs> this. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a vice grip. You usually use it for like building, I don't know, cabinets and yeah, stuff like that. I like doing that stuff. That's how I know what it is. I'm not very good at it, but I like doing it. So we really tend to focus on our goals. And we kind of ignore everything else. All right. I want you to go through another exercise. This is a typical map of a university website. And what I want you to do is I want you to look for something. I want you to find a map of the campus and tell me where it is. Bottom right corner. You're right. I know this isn't the best image. It's right there. Impressive. Impressive, yes. Well, what you actually find, what people tend to do, here we're dealing with a web page, right? It's more complex than the little picture I showed you, right? We also have knowledge about how web pages tend to be set up, and it's more likely that if we're looking for a campus map, it's going to be in one of the menus. So how many of you actually looked in the, were, were focusing on looking at the menus? Well, I was actually looking for, like, oh, an actual image of a map. Yes? I was looking on the sides because usually it's either on this side or this side or in the corner or something like that. But like whenever you're looking for um, careers or something, it's at the bottom or at the bottom, at the bottom of the top. Right, you're, at, you're absolutely right. So. You, you know, what you were focusing on and what many of you were is what do you know about how web pages tend to be laid out? And that's where you tended to focus. Now, looking for the actual physical map is really interesting because that is a more recent phenomena that we're finding on web pages. So what your fellow student ended up doing was this is taking experience and knowledge of what they've experienced recently in the, in the context of a website, and you're using that information to help hone in on what your goal is. So here's my next question. Did anyone notice this? Most of you said no. Some of you said yes. Does anyone know what it is? I know it's a little hard to see. Graduation achievement 
chosen for something. Congratulations, you've been chosen to receive a hundred dollars. So one person in the class would have gotten that hundred dollars. Why? Because what were you fo were you focusing on? I'm going to look for something that's going to give me a hundred dollars because I'm on a university website. How likely is that to happen? Yeah. No. You're focusing on your goals. Now. We are sensitized to see certain things. So if you're on the road, you're more likely to see something like a red car as opposed to a blue car. Okay? But again, if let's say even you're on the road and you are looking for a white car, you're probably going to be focusing on those white cars. You may even have a red car drive right by you and you won't notice. Very, very interesting stuff. <laughs> 